Heading towards Hokkaido, we stopped in Sendai to find out what the historic city had to offer. For the first time ever, we stayed in a capsule hotel called Nine Hours Sendai. There are men's and women's floors. Each has a locker room to change and store your items, a hall of toilets, and a hall with many, many shower stalls. It all seemed pretty high tech. Hello, toilet. You sleep in individual capsules that are surprisingly comfortable, like your own personal cocoon. Nine Hour Sendai is located right next to the Kokobuncho Red Light District, famous for its great food and nightlife. The next morning, we got up early to enjoy the Asaichi Morning Market, try all the street food, and especially get some hot, fresh croquettes. Mm. This is a, which jagged jagged? I think it might be like a sweet potato. Mm. This is good. Tried. Mm. This one's really fresh. Yeah, mm. that sweet potato is really good. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I know, tried. I like this one the best. <laughs> the Asaichi Morning Market is full of locally grown foods, which makes it a great place to shop. Next, we headed to Sendai Castle, also called Alba Castle, where the famous Date Masamune was seated as the first daimyo of Sendai, which is kind of like a governor. Date Masamune was a famous warrior and leader who brought plenty of modernization and technology to the region of Tohoku, where Sendai lies. Near Date Masamune's monument lies a fantastic outlook onto the city of Sendai, which really makes for a romantic lunch spot. In the distance of the Sendai landscape, you can even see the Dai Kanon statue. It depicts the goddess Bodhisattva Kanon from Buddhist religion and is the tallest statue of a goddess in Japan. It's four miles away from us. To continue with the Date Masamune theme, we headed towards Zuihoden Mausoleum, where the remains of the famous feudal lord lie. For a mere 550 yen, we entered the sacred site and gazed at the intricate beauty of the grounds and the entombments themselves. Zuihoden's designs are in the ornate style of the Momoyama period, featuring intricate woodwork with rich and vibrant colors. It's just gorgeous. To end our evening off, we devoured some local cuisine. Sendai is famous for gyutan, or beef tongue dishes. Gyutan originated in Sendai in 1948 when a local yakitori restaurant owner devoted his entire business to the preparation of beef tongue dishes. It is often paired with oxtail soup, a sensational soft boiled egg, and for us, a giant face sized beer. It's been great fun, Sendai. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to see you when our next episode releases. 